Uh, oh, yeah, I'm recording. So, teacher, teacher, teachers, it is the 17th of May, 2023. Um, and uh, we have a few people here who, who you'll, see, you'll see in a second, Christina and uh, Terry and Jack. And I are going to play with um, thinking partners on now comment, kind of creating a couple. And uh, so, and we'll kind of report back on what we experience when we do that and or we'll do it together. We can think about that. Um, I, I want to explain why I thought doing that in this study room, prompt engineering, would be a good place to do it. Because making a thinking partner, in my view, is kind of an on-ramp to a whole world of prompt engineering. And um, I almost wanted to apologize to, and I will right now, uh, to Bonnie Benton's students who went in and everyone created a thinking partner. And at first they just made characters. Um, and then they started to think about what those characters might do. Um, and we gave them almost no instruction in um, what it means to be a prompt engineer, right? So maybe that's okay, <laughs> but it's sort of like dropping somebody in. And so I think we need some, we need ourselves to be thinking about what um, AI prompt engineers do. There's a really lovely short, um, it's a as told by story about a young woman who is a, a prompt engineer and she talks about how she goes about doing that. Um, up on one of the, the tables there, there's another one that calls them AI um, psychologists. Um, another one who calls it AI whispering, which um, Terry, given your sheep farming, <laughs> uh, like a horse whisperer, right? Is yeah. an interesting concept. Um, and then over on table four, I'll just keep doing this and then we'll, we'll come back and say, so we're not going to do any of this right now. Just when you know what's here. Over on table four, there is a, um, a Google Doc um, of, of a teacher who is having his students write using um, prompting. And he's exploring that. And we've had a few conversations about that. So his, he graciously put his um, syllabus up there, and more than syllabus, his, his whole course up there, um, to, to kind of follow what he's doing. Then there's this five prompts for po polishing your writing. And then there are two, a, a simple one, a simpler one in advance, what about prompt engineering. And a wonderful, um, I like the title even, uh, Response Shaping, um, a little article about all of this too. My notion is that one way we could go is it's after you create your thinking partner, we could go to one of these articles and we'd be doing two birds with one stone, right? You would be testing your thinking partner and you'd be learning about prompting. All right, fair enough. Um, yep. What, um, yeah. what's the guy's name on table four? Just his name is, name. yeah, is, oh, it doesn't have his name. I'll put it there. His name is um, James Ryan. James Ryan. Okay. He's at um, Southeastern Alaska University. I'm getting those mixed up a little bit. Yeah, I, I need to, get, I, I'll get those details there. Yeah, there's no, there's no name on it. Yeah, I'll do that. Maybe that's a good thing. <laughs> no. Yeah, I'm okay. not sure. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I, I I can do it. Yeah, okay, thanks. Um, all right, so uh, Terry, do you want to say what idea you were you were going to do with your thinking partner? Well, uh, I had been thinking about um, what I mentioned earlier today uh, of uh, an identity, a Socratic identity. Um, alternatively. Um, creating uh, characters in a play. But then I got to thinking that one of the most, I think this would be really interesting is to have a prompt based upon improvisation. Um, <laughs> and because, you know, with improvisation, there are rules and pretty, actually pretty uh, hard and fast rules. And I was thinking, when you're doing prompt engineering, maybe that's something you want to be. You know, mm -hmm. you want to have strict, you want to have 
fairly, not many rules, but pretty, pretty strict rules. Like, you know, always say yes. That's a, that's one of the rules of improvisation. Um, yes. I like, I like that idea. Uh, that's neat. So I'd like to work on the improvisation. Identity, right. Whatever you want to call it. Yeah, we'll call it thinking partner. How about that? Thinking partner. Yeah. Okay. Good. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Cool. And Christina, your first idea, you and or Jack. <laughs> well, I had this one idea just because I just got out of yoga, and I mean, she would hate it. She wouldn't want me doing. <laughs> um, but there, there is something about the way that she prompts mm -hmm. that is kind of. I'd have to. Um, manifested again in my head you know it but it's about slowing down and paying attention and breath i'm not sure if it can work in ai so now I'm... yeah but i that's the best question i think yeah, yeah. I agree. it's like can't can ai do this <laughs> in, in a disbelieving way and then find out you know and then break it down and see which part of it it can do and which part it can't right so okay yeah, I'll try it. Terry, why do you agree? What do you think? Well, I, to me, one of the things I've learned just in my, you know, off the wall meanderings with this with this tool is that I enjoy it more when I actually treat it as a chat. Mm -hmm. You know, we I think for a while I was losing track of the fact that it was intended to be a chat. It's intended to be you know, to ask, and you know, I had to see other people do this, you ask literally simple little questions like, can you do this specific thing? Don't, or don't start just yet. Tell me if you can do this. I will give you further instructions. And for me, that really helps me kind of easy, make it a little bit easier as I go. And, uh, treat the a i mean you know ai's it's foolish to treat them as humans because they're not humans but you know that's as close as we can get so why not that's what i meant by that yeah so on now comment and this particular use of ai right right there, there's less chatting i i totally agree with you that, that that's part of what's interesting I, I wouldn't say interesting about AI in general. It's interesting about chat GPT and the way they've designed that, right? right. So it's always important to remember they've designed that on top of the large, like, that's not sort of natural. But anyway, so, but when we're, I think when we're doing prompt engineering, usually you have to give it a context as well. Mm -hmm. In this case, we're giving it a context, um, which is a paragraph or a sentence, right? Right. Right. And then, and then there's a slight tweak there in that the user can add a little more context with their question and then their description of themselves, and then you're adding the prompt in, right? So you don't have total control of the prompt, um, right? And the way this architecture is, there isn't really an ability to go back and forth very much. Mm -hmm. Although you could design something so it could ask it again in a reply right right that's what i was thinking it would function as a little bit of a chat right. okay um any instructions needed for getting started or i'll present and sh and do that a little bit but tell me you want to go to your library and now comment mm -hmm. And, and then scroll down to the bottom right. I have to close that. And then I have to find right. Okay. okay, I'm a little lost as to where my library is. Um, if you're logged in, there's a little link up here on the left that says My Library. It's not going there for some reason, Paul. It takes a minute, usually, depending on how much you have in there. Okay. I don't think I have that much. Is there another link to the library? Oh, there I went. Okay, that took a while. Yeah. I'm not seeing it on mine either. It's under the now comment logo on the top left, Terry. It says my library and groups and 
my library and groups are like are highlighted differently. Uh, or separately. When you first log in, it goes there automatically. Uh, did you log in? Well, it says I'm logged in. It's got my my. Yeah. Uh, so do you see my screen? Are, are you? Yeah, I see your screen. And you don't have a blue thing at the mm -hmm. top which says my library? Nope. No, I don't have the the now comment function there at all. I can see yours, but I don't. So I don't try, know how to to get... try to log in again, maybe. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Or I'll be your partner. Oh. Where'd he go? Oh, he left. No, just saw you. Okay. So, Christina, you you see where Manage Partners is down toward the yeah. bottom? Okay. So you have a choice here. You can either duplicate one, or it sounds like, or you can just start new, which I would do, I think. Yeah, I'm just going to start new. And, yeah, it's pretty obvious. You need a name. You need a short description. Okay. And then your prompt. And yeah, I, I would say just go ahead and do whatever. And then, and, and I didn't say what I was going to do, but let me try to help Terry to. You're good? I'll go. Yeah, I'm just going to try this. Okay. Be random. Jack, ask louder. It may be somebody else's question too. <laughs> well, just I, I'm, yeah. uh, but but you guys might have already. You guys might. No, it's okay. Uh, what, when, when it says under this prompt, this is being recorded for like people to watch. So well, okay. when it when it says under prompt, is that is that is that how is that what you were? Is it, uh, as, as far as I understood, when you're authoring these these thinking partners, you're 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 giving them a set of instructions to 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 inquire along a certain set, line, set of themes or lines or behaviors or whatever. Is that where you put that or is it prompt as in, I don't know, what, what do you what do you put in that section? So try anything first. Yeah, I mean, so we could look but, at, what is anything? Maybe, maybe we could, maybe we could look at a couple first or again or whatever. Um, let me just see. A friend from the 90s. <laughs> okay. Um, this may not be the best example, but I'll, I'll show it anyhow. So this is what this prompt does, right? You can see it goes on for some time. Wait, wait, wait. I need to. Okay. Okay. On, yeah. So, yes, you are. So the. You need to tell it a couple of things you need to say, and I could be okay. getting this wrong, right? I'm learning this too, right? But um, you need to tell it who it is, give it give it some kind of personality, um, and the short description might do that. Although the short description doesn't go to AI, just to know that. Um, but you need to tell it who it is, what it does, who it is, and what it does, right? And then you want to kind of you want to give it some criteria for how to do what it, you're asking it to do. Mm -hmm. um, so this one says, "Be a reader who is collaborating with us." Um, I, all this stuff like use a personal pronoun. <laughs> uh, and and I could I could in, and it's it's I could do what I do like do it in the style of Simone de Beauvoir or Sandra yes, could. or whatever. Yes, you could. And then you could you could test whether or not you need to break that down and explain what that means or not. Gotcha. In this case, I decided to, you know, this is a gender feminist scholar. So you're a gender feminist scholar. Give us. And then down here, I end up saying, I end up saying, if the text is a sentence, do this. If it's a paragraph, do this. I don't know if it does that or not. I think it does. Um, and then, so we we ask, we tell it what to do once it once it knows who it is. Okay, right. Uh, that, that's great. That that's kind of what I that's what I yeah I gleaned a bit of that from past weeks. That that that's super helpful. 
Okay, and and you can always go in any of these and hit duplicate and see them as well. So, and Carrie, did you get into now? Yeah. Comment? Okay, good. good. Okay. So, I'm going to try to create one called a non judgmental responder. <laughs> so, just to say. But we're all just working now, right? We're good. Please interrupt if you need. I mean to interrupt, but if anybody's wondering what I'm doing, I'm copying what I made already over in Youth Voices and seeing how it works in this new context. But don't, don't worry about it. I'm just.
Okay. How much longer do you think you want for your first draft? What are you thinking? <laughs> I've got one sentence written. Uh, one sentence can work. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, I'm very curious even where I got to what it'll do. I didn't tell it much yet. Yeah, that's that. That's a good way to ask it. Um, so, I, I, do you have a uh, a save button or what? I don't know what it's called for sure. Create. Create. Yep. Make sure you have a um, something in the the second box there, the description what? box too. Okay. And then the category. Should we categorize it somehow? Yeah. See if you can. Given what both of you said, I think it's probably the creative one, whatever that yeah, one is. That, that's what yeah. I said. And I'm going to go and immediately. So I am. I'm going to go and immediately make yours public so that we can share them with each other. Um, this is something we have to. I have to think through. But right now, that's all. Good. So we have McGibbs. No, that's not. <laughs> have you saved yours yet? I have not. mine. Yours is the is Yogi. Okay. So I'm making it public. And I'm purposely not doing this on screen because last names appear here. Um, So you could go test it now, though. Um, okay. what, I, what I want to suggest is that you choose one of the articles on a picnic table here. Shall we choose number, just go to one? Let's do that one. It's a, it's a delightful little piece of. <laughs> I'm a has some, here. Yeah, I'm an AI. Prime. So just click on her face, and you'll go to that okay. article. And just choose a paragraph there, and we'll, we'll all test our things on the same paragraph. You might first do a just a your human annotation and then we'll test after that. How's that sound? Let's do that. Sure. Okay. And I'll start sharing again. Actually, Terry, did you did you start yours yet? Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm not rushing you. I'm just I have to approve it before Yeah, I'm uh, I'm I'm like three or four lines into the prompt. I'll wait then. Yeah, that's fine. Let me know when you're done. And I'm going to share. Paul, I, I ended up signing in and so oh, good. I, can I if, if I if I just press create now. Mm -hmm. Yep. Do you see where to do it? Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, can you? Yeah. Here, you can. Um, oh, it? there's one to approve. Yeshiva Haver. Haver. <laughs> there mm -hmm. is never mind. My physical therapist. <laughs> Told me he was so excited one time. He, he there was a yeshiva student, um, a whole dialogue that had been created. Anyway, he couldn't believe because it wasn't any one language that it was messing with. But <laughs> anyway, sorry. Uh, okay, I'm not. Sh I'm not sharing the name screen here, am I? No. No, you're sharing the article that I'm Good. in. Okay, that's that was my intention. Okay, so I made an annotation. Okay, I have you see. You have to refresh it, I think, to see it because you don't. Yeah, I'll do that. I'm just uh, approving or making public these two. Okay, I, I created mine such as it is. Yeah, okay, to, just go back to um, cool space. So um, what you want to do now is go to the I'm a prompt engineer and read that. Give it a. A human response first, and then we'll play with the three new ones we just created. Okay. Four new ones we just created. And, Paul, yes. Sorry, go ahead. 
Terry. I was just gonna say, how do I get back? You've got full screen here. How do I get back to Kumo space? Oh, um, I know it's hidden there somewhere. How do you do it? Yeah, there's a upper right hand corner X, I think. Mm -hmm. Very descriptive. okay. Got it. So and we're, Paul, we're on um, number one. I'll go to yes. library. My library and no comment. And use a pop out. So what was uh, your question, Christina? So Jack's not in Kumo's space, but he is in now comment. How can you find this yeah. article easily? Oh, um, blah, 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 blah. should you search just search for it? Uh, I could, I could share it with him. I can invite him. Uh, I guess I'm that. in the library. He's not in. Um, it's a public document. So let me see. Can you give him that link there? Um, 347807? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That'll work. See the number. Or he could search for. He's got it. OK, good. Thanks. OK, and I'm refreshing and. Sorry. Uh, eight, three, four, seven, eight, seven. Where'd my comment go? Your comment, sir. Oh, no, oh there it is. Okay. Three, four, seven, three, four, oh, seven. documents, documents, documents. Oh. oh, yeah, you have to put documents first. Sir. I could send that link to you. I got, it. got, I got it. it. Yeah, okay, okay. Okay, so I made a comment. So what should I do now? I should try. Yes. Reply with AI. Reply with the AI or no. Um you could, but or could just go to AI the above it. Add yeah. an AI. Choose system. choose choose either the same paragraph or that. Yeah. Yeah. But why don't you choose the same paragraph? Yep. And then um, ask AI, and then think, then choose a partner. And the partners, the partner I just created is active listener, and the other, which is under the first category there, information. Then the other one's the yeshiva chaver. Is that how you say it? Aver. <laughs> Aver. Thank you. Um, the yoga and the, imp the the three you created are all down at the bottom of the creative generation group. So okay. you could choose any of those four and see how they You probably want to choose yours, see how it works. Yeah. yeah. And you have to give it a question. You don't have to give it a, um, a note, but you could. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. So I'm going to try mine. <laughs> um, And I have something I can share, but whenever you're ready, if you all could share a screen too, but maybe just reading aloud is good enough to. Or you could start a conversation and we can see them. Yeah, this is really, like my second one makes no sense to me. Uh -huh. um, I'm not sure where where it went here. So can I share this? Do you want to share your screen or do you want to share the? Well, I didn't hit submit because there was like, I did a resubmission. Uh-huh. 
so I can't post both. So to show right. you. To... Oh yeah. So you, you can share a screen. Um, and I'll stop sharing. Not, we can both share by the way, but I'll stop for now. There you go. Okay. Okay. So let's pay attention to what you're, go ahead. Okay. So you're, you're the yogi. And what question did you ask it? What do you think, Yogi? Okay. <laughs> and then I wrote for my con for myself. I said I'm a yoga student. Okay. And then, so then do you mind I, reading it? Yeah. Long story is... short, I eventually discovered the world of AI copywriting, and that planted a seed for my current passion in using AI to drive com conversion optimization. I have no idea where that comes from. Maybe from the paragraph I chose. It is, yeah. Yeah. Then it says, and then this is more in lines with it. As a yoga student, I encourage you to use the connection between the breath and the mind to explore the practice. Notice how asana and pranayama affects your body <laughs> and mind differently and use that to inform your practice. I believe that this can help you deepen your understanding of yoga and get the most out of your practice. So your reflections on what AI is doing here? Well, it it's a little bit just parroting back. Like it, I, I put in the specific kind of yoga mm -hmm. to see if it would pick up on that, and it didn't. Um, it is, I mentioned asana and pranayama and the, the connection between the body and mind and breath. And so that's what it's talking about. But at least it did refer to me as a yoga student here. Yeah, but it's talking to it's it's like mixing up the author and you too, right? Yeah. Well, I think I'm confused. Maybe the no. author is is in the you mean in the? I think it's talking directly to the writer, to the to to the what's her name? Yeah. Oh. Which, which is something to, that we need to learn when we create these. Like you can control how it talks to, like who it talks to and who it's addressing, right? You can say, talk to me, and it'll, it'll talk to you as the person who asked the question. Um, you, I, the example I gave earlier, you can ask it to use we, Right, so that it, it it's like it's talking in a group. So you, that's part of prompt engineering is figuring out how to get it to use the right pronouns and how to get it to know who it's talking to, I think. But what was your second one that he taught? He uh, taught me the basics of how AI-based copywriting works, and I was hooked. After some practice, I realized I had a knack for using AI to quickly and accurately generate the right copy. So I decided to switch my focus to copywriting. I'm passionate about translating creative and big picture elements into powerful, accurate text. My goal mm -hmm. is to help business create content. So it is not at all about yoga in this case. Right. Like I didn't pick up on any of the yoga things. But, and you don't have to have an answer to this. What, what in yoga it helps the reader. <laughs> like, do you understand? Because this, is, because this is reading that we're doing. Is this related to the comment that you wrote? Is there a connection between jazz and AI prompting, or is it, or is it just speaking to the whole article? Because did, did you do reply with I AI? I didn't there? do reply with AI. I did this. Oh, okay. Oh. So it's just taking this paragraph. If, and, and you just, asked, but you asked it, what, just what do you think? Oh, and it's taking a paragraph. What do you think, Yogi? It's, and it's really telling me what it thinks about this paragraph. It's also doing a lot of text completion, right? It's picking up where the paragraph left off and completing it, which AI likes to do. And you have to like tell, tell it not to do that. <laughs> I, again, I'm, I'm not, you know I'm not criticizing or anything. I'm just I'm just trying to figure it out with these are the kinds of questions we ask when we build these things, right? 
Yeah, I think I still, it's true that like I still am not sure. I was thinking as a reader, maybe a, a yogi one would help a reader slow down and, and recognize the reaction of their mind and their breath and the relationship between them and the text, you know, or something like that. So I should write it more like that. Yeah. Yeah. Almost, you almost lose the, the source, the yoga source, right? And you just get into the description of what it does for a reader in that context. For a reader. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's helpful. Thank you. Yeah. Terry, do you want to share yours? Yeah. Where's the share function? Uh, present down at the present. bottom. Okay. Oh. And, you can, and how do I get my uh, thing in there? You, you can just choose the screen and then okay. just change change the tab. Yeah. Okay. And can I, I can keep editing this, right? Sure, yeah, yeah. Go to my library and then, yeah. You got it. Okay. Okay. Now, do you want to know what my prompt was first? Yeah. I'm going to. Well, I don't, go ahead. Yeah. Can you do that? I can. I've got it open over here. I okay. said, uh, be an improvisation. My, my dude is an improvisational partner. Uh, I short description is this character is improvisational, and then I said as a prompt, be an improvisational partner, respond to the text that is selected, follow these rules, and I just really went fast with these. Create your own objective and respond in all ways. If something doesn't work, <laughs> try another response. Follow the rule of yes and. Huh. and. Not knowing whether whether it knows what that is or not, I just throw it out there. And then what I did was, let's see, I'll make that bigger. Uh, so I used that first sentence when I was a freelance writer and historical research assistant. I spent a lot of time scrolling through microfiche and libraries now, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. I said, there are so many analog haptic sensations from my life in libraries. Oh, no, I said, oh, the plastic whir of the carousel. Wait, you said that in your question? That No, I said that in my response. Oh, okay. That was my response. Oh, the plastic whir of the carousel. Your own personal response. Okay, That's got my it. my personal response. Got it, yeah. Uh, and I also said there are so many analog so haptic long. sensations from my life in libraries. Where <laughs> are the haptics of digital life? And then my partner said, from the sensuousness. Yeah, and you used, used reply here. Go ahead, yeah. Yes, used reply. Yeah. From the sensuousness of sliding a finger down a shelf of books to the <laughs> sensation of closing a reference book to the joy of surprise and surprise of unexpected connections made through reading for pleasure. It killed it in the first half and then it did that generic weak ass <laughs> response. So, that so, so yeah, so go edit it. Yeah, I will. I will. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um and and you know you can edit it before you post it, but it's it's nice to see the result since we're just testing now. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Um, and Jack, do you have one or not? Yeah. Um, so I I, I can refresh screen or uh, yeah. the the oh there you are okay. the yeshiva chaver is in 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 yeshivot in, in traditional Jewish you know, schools, um, you'll see, you know, if you just see a room full of people, that's, it's, there are usually two, two people at a desk mm -hmm. reading a single text, looking over a single text. And they're, um, it's a very intimate way of reading. They're, 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 their heads are very close together. They're kind of hunched over this book. And what you end up doing, the few times I've sort of practiced it like this, you end up kind of almost whispering to each other, like, like rather than having an internal monologue when you read, you almost have your internal monologue out loud to your cover means friend or comrade. So it's, it's uh, to your to your comrade who's sharing your desk, who's sharing the text with you, and and um, so it's a very intimate form of reading. And 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 often the methodology of reading is one of um, 
of citing sort of divergent texts. Like, like we just read, read this line or this paragraph, what do you think it means? Well, according to this rabbinic authority, maybe it has to do with this issue. And according to this rabbinic authority, maybe it has to do with this issue. And then you'll try to reconcile those issues. So I, I, I sort of describe that to the AI uh, that you that you in, uh, in, your, in your prompt you do yeah that you work okay. through it work work your way through a shared text quoting various rabbinic authorities on on various opinions about the text typically proceed sentence by sentence with special attention on divergent ways of of interpreting a given word or verse uh, and 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 there's a sequence of this inquiry wherein the divergent opinion is is raised and then there's an attempt to reconcile kind of or, or explain the, the divergent opinion so and then i said to try to offer this in the in the tradition of a in the, in the style of a talmudic rabbi um to see if you can to see if it can sound sound this way so did you do it or not i don't uh, see yes it. so so uh, but i just uh <laughs> i gave it permission to make up fake rabbis i said i said it could make mm -hmm. up fake rabbis and fake a th fake so so Paragra you can pull this out so you can read it a little Paragraph bit. 13. I got it. Uh, was yeah. was was intriguing to me because she says, where is it? She says, she says something like, uh, basically my job where sorry. Um it's, I can't I'll, I'll share it. It's blocked. I, I, I can read it. Uh, the one you highlighted, it's my job then to yeah. write to write prompts. They can get the query to generate the best output. Yeah, so so like someone, what's the query someone gives, and then she writes the sentence before what I highlighted. Yeah. What? Uh oh no, oh. I I do this by designing a text around a user's request. In simple terms, a user types something like write a product description for a pair of sneakers which I receive on the back end. It's my job then to write prompts that can get that query to generate the best output through. So I thought it was kind of interesting that she takes an imaginary prompt by someone else and then uh -huh. tries to optimize, tries to write her own prompts to optimize a response to an imaginary future prompt, i.e. write a product right. description for a pair of sneakers. So I thought there was, there was something like interestingly paradoxical or something about that. So uh, I asked, I asked, um, <laughs> I asked, what, what do you think of this, sen this sentence means? Is there something circular or iterative about her tasks? Uh, the AI wrote, Rabbi, Rabbi Yona ruled, this sentence speaks to a process in which a prompt writer is creating a closed loop of research and development in order to optimize the prompts that others may, may eventually create, which is indeed circular <laughs> in nature. Uh, right. Well, Rabbi Shimon replied to Rabbi Yona, I disagree. Well, it is true that a prompt writer... Wait, it gave two rabbis? Now wow. they're in a dialogue. Well, I disagree. While it is true that a prompt writer had created a closed loop of research and development, it does not necessarily imply a sense of circularity, but rather may <laughs> imply a sense of ongoing exploration and an iterative process. By exploring the possibilities of meaning and of a prompt, a prompt writer is engaging in a process of discovery. Rabbi Yosef waited. There's a third this, one. This goes on. I believe that the essence of what of Rabbi Yona and Rabbi Shimon's argument is that the task of prompt writing is circular in its nature, even if the prompt of exploration and discovery suggested by Rabbi Shimon is highlighted. A sense of circularity still pervades the statement. <laughs> Perhaps it is wow. true that the exploit. It goes on a bit, but this is really quite good. It sounds a lot <laughs> like the Talmud. <laughs> wait, wait! You haven't you haven't hit create conversation yet, have you? What I I I, I said reply to my question. No, no, but it's not up on the uh, the page yet. Oh, he did this in a oh. reply, also, just so you know. It didn't uh, reply. Huh. I did a reply with AI. Huh? I don't it's see it. it. Yeah, maybe. Oh, he hasn't hit reply yet. Oh, oh, I just meant that... oh sorry, sorry. No, okay, I, so... I, I don't want to. I want to be able to look at it again. <laughs> yeah. Now, now it's now, there. Now it's there. Okay, good. So, right. if you hit reply, then the AI is talking to Jack. But so, if you do an AI above thinking partner, then it's a parallel comment that's actually really going to the article or going to the author of the article. Sorry. Yeah, very specifically, what what's being sent to the um, 
to OpenAI when you hit reply is is just the text from from the comment, right? They're very. I mean, this is really intriguing that to me because there there are like thirteen interpretive rules for Talmudic interpretation, like like logics, like like in Greek logic, it's deductive and inductive and things like that. Uh -huh. The Talmud has its own like thirteen very concrete rules, so you could you could code the hell out of that. <laughs> Indeed, <laughs> I think we've gone full circle here, so to speak. <laughs> <laughs> but. But so, yeah, but so just let's talk about this though. I mean, Christina's oh, wait, well, I could, I could, I was editing, I could share my, I share mine very briefly. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and and just a quick preface with this is like, you guys know that I've created a bunch of prompts over in Youth Voices. So the question is, and it's using the same model, it's using this model. Um, so Will those prompts work in this architecture? Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. So I pulled out one where it quotes Sanja Pearl and I was about what active listening is. So I, I wanted to see if it would just active listen. And it does a pretty decent job, right? Um, I think, of just sort of saying back to the writer what they've what she said in that paragraph. So there's, there, um, from what I heard, you have recently made important. Yeah, but she's talking to her as if she's a writer, and I don't know if I want that, that or not. But yeah, <laughs> does that make sense? Did she know? So she, in you, so she in is you, a writer, though, isn't she? She is. So, in, but yeah. So she, my thinking part, my active listener talks to the author of the text as if they're giving them feedback on their writing, <laughs> right? Because that's how I designed it. It was designed so that students mm -hmm. would get feedback on their writing. I don't know if I want that or not, but it's interesting that it can do that. Right? So, so it's writing to Aaron Mock. It is writing to Aaron Mock. Yeah, right. Well, Paul, are you an active listener or an active reader? Yeah, that's interesting. Um, but the, the reason I'm interested in this is a lot of people are saying, and, and students also are saying things like, I just want somebody who's just like me telling me like what to think or, you know, rather than an expert or, or something. Um, like a so, near peer. Yeah. And, some of you all here have also said that, like, what we really need is, yeah, is, is a peer. Um, so that's what I was trying to see is, is, is if we could get a sort of non judgmental, this is what I see going on in this text, what do you see kind of reply? So let's pull back for a second, though, for the last five minutes here and just like what did we what did we learn from doing this what are we thinking because i think we did but <clears throat> i'd like to hear what you're thinking i'm i'm thinking for my purposes yeah. that iteration and reiteration are the fastest ways to get to where you want to go and you've got to have that i think you have to have that attitude of really just put it down there and go for it. And then reflect, I was talking about with you earlier, Paul, reflection is critical in this whole new field. And just keep doing it and then. But break down reflect for a minute. What do you mean by reflect? Though? Well, you're gonna have to go back and forth. The original versus, you know, the reply. The, the AI response and your, and your, so you have to go back and forth between, I guess in this case, the thinking partner is the template and what you intended uh -huh. so there's going to there's like a schema in your head like this is what i want it to really look like it's like the kids they want it to look like a near peer uh, i want it to look like an adult peer <laughs> so you know will that work we'll just stick it in there and see if it works i know that i mean i've done a lot of experimenting with uh like i told you paul with manually submitting stuff um 
in Bard and in ChatGPT. And um, that's what I do there. I just, I just yeah. write. And there's no reason that, that like testing couldn't be done there. And then, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. You just need a, a check, a chunk of text to, to test there. Because they're using the same models we are too, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> yes. uh, except they're, they're three months ahead. We're using 3.5 and they're using 4.0. But yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, why did Jax do so? I don't know. I don't want to say it did well. And then Christina's didn't give us what we wanted. And I, I asked it not to compare, obviously, but just as, just, I mean, that's an interesting question, right? I, well, I mean, yeah. I was just thinking about like, I mean, mine. I mean, as you pointed out, it's about reading and it's about text. And sort of mine was a little bit, is a little bit, um, wasn't really in that context. It's like, I just picked a random context mm -hmm. and, you know, now what Jack picked is actually about reading and is about, you know, dialogue around text. Yeah. And so it makes sense that it worked well. And, and, and the, I, the critical lenses are also like that, right? They're also they're, about text, yeah. yeah. And so I pick like, like I'd have to think about what does the implications of yoga, the approach of yoga as a reader and related to text, I'd have to code that out, which I don't actually really know, <laughs> you know? So it is interesting to me though, that I could say something like a, a tradition of yoga Iyengar yoga, and it hasn't picked up on that at all. And I've just done a couple of resubmits and still doesn't pick up on it. So I, it just makes me wonder, like, what does it need to, like, it can't pull the tradition in some way. Like, I'd have to inform it about the tradition, it sounds like. Could Which you say something like make a connection with some, with some form of, 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 of a yoga tradition? Do you yeah. make a connection with a yoga tradition? Right. Or something very, very specific if that's what you want to do. Yeah, I, that's why I was thinking like, right, but I'd have to tell it to do that. Yeah, I yeah. Just say like, I am a yoga, like I described like myself as an Iyengar trained yoga, mm. or I described, but it, it never, well, in four tries, it never picked up on like what Iyengar, it can't, on its own, but, but yeah. like fe with feminist scholar, I I put a whole page of what is a feminist scholar. What is a know? feminist scholar? Okay, right. Yeah. So, you could so do that's that. what I you need could... to do. Yeah. Yeah. But it, it's I I think it's not I think it is interesting and not a bad thing, right? That it does pick up on frameworks that are already textural, in some way. That's that's an interesting thing, right? Because mm -hmm. because we use a lot of those frameworks as writing teachers, right? Uh, I, I, yeah. One thing I would say too, mine, mine actually failed. It didn't fail. It didn't provide very much richness at all. When I said just be a, be a yeshiva chaver, it, it, you know, interpret, interpret, you know, offer various interpretations of the text, often referring, often focusing on ambiguous meanings or, or reference or something. It came back with a very weak response. But then when I added the do it in, right, right in the style of Talmudic debate, huh. offering, you know, fictional ra rabbinic sources to, to, to argue different sides of issues, that was where it got really juicy. Like, that's the good stuff is you have two because you have two like people arguing with each other. And, and I don't know, that felt much, much richer to me um, than what it first came out with. So I feel like. Like and, and the feminist scholars the same way. Like it can actually, you know, look at the style of feminist scholars. And and when I've read your your feminist scholars, I'm like, oh yeah, I recognize that. You know that that that's speaking to me in a language that I've learned from reading feminist criticism, and and I recognize it the same way I recognize this uh, from 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 having read read Talmud. So giving it a corpus, I, I feel like, and telling it to write in that style. I don't know. It's it's. Richer. That's certainly how, how the images become interesting. Mm -hmm. Using that in the style of uh, cool, cool. Uh, 
so there's somewhere between this playing around, which we did, and thank you for playing around with us tonight, um, and reading these articles, because uh, there are a lot of people out there playing around, and they're writing down what they discover, mm -hmm. um, that, that I think is makes this kind of a interesting thing to be playing with. So that's, so thank you for that. But I also think that we can learn, like, nothing's really codified. They can't say this is exactly how to do it. Cause I don't think anybody knows, but I, but people are getting good ideas for what works and what doesn't work. So like learning it is, is going to be an interesting process. I think. Something that has been troubling to me about this process is that you know, I think in a lot of ways, what we're doing here is putting old wine in new bottles, if that mm -hmm. makes any sense. And what I want to see is the breakout um, person who says, oh, no, this isn't about doing this. This is about doing this other thing, which is totally unrelated or comes from a different field or is wildly divergent. And I, that's going to happen because it always happens. And I just feel like I'm, uh, I'm just kind of treading, uh, I'm just treading water here with a, an old pair of, uh, you know. Yeah, yeah. Like, like in six months, we're gonna laugh at what we did, right? Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm laughing at it right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> but it's a process. All right. Thank you, Bo. You're welcome. Thank you. Thanks, Bo. All right. Good night. Good night. Good night. Yeah. Thanks.